Wow, intentional wreck right there. That was crazy. Hello guys, I'm Nick Black to the channel and today we are racing in iRacing Mazda MX-5 Cup, the advanced cup and we are racing with the most life and we have qualified P13 and in this race you will see when you are racing against an A-class driver who is behind you, how intense it gets when he is right behind you and we have a pretty decent start and we are trying to all turn one mayhem because you know no worrying. and you can see there are two cars all be flying off in the distance and there are more yellow flags behind us there are people crashing all around us but somehow we have managed to stay alive and there you see three cars going into the barriers and somehow we are P4 but not right now we are P3 let's watch the mayhem and this side the pink Barbie MX-5 was the leader who got taken out P2, who got taken out by T, uh, P3, who missed his breaking point. Then you see the silver MX-5 taking out the orange MX-5. Thank you, eh? Thank you. And there is slight contact and slight contact with the fighter. And I think he intentionally wow, took out right the other two cars. I don't know what happened, but we are P3 guys and. I cannot believe my luck, we are already at P3, uh, the starting of this lap and you can see we are on the tail of P2 and I think we are quite faster than him so we should overtake him quickly and I am just expressing my gratitude to the drivers of the ice and for giving me third position and we try for a move on the outside but we are unable to make a move on P2. I have to overtake him ASAP so that we can make progress on P1. This is the lap 2. We are again right behind P2 and we have cap P4 by 1.6 seconds and we are quite faster than him and we will get quite a decent run on him. I will have to make a, make a move on him, make the move stick on him so that I can catch P1 because he is right now 2.5 seconds ahead of us and we need to win this race. This is our race to lose now and we have gone for a dive bomb and we have made the move stick and we are at P2. Now we have to catch down, hunt down P1 and take the race and looking at the replay, he didn't defend the inside line and we made a pretty simple move on him pretty clean move on him because he didn't defend the line at all i think he knew that he is not faster so he gave us the position on lap 9 p1 is 4.3 seconds away from us he has gapped us so i decide to let p3 oscar perez go because i think he is now faster than us and I think the best chance to catch P1 is to let Oscar Perez catch him and make two of them fight. And on lap 11, we have not caught P1 and we are still behind Oscar Perez. And I think we will have to make a move on him because we are doing the same pace. And the fastest guy in this split are right behind us who was and, and P1 has gone off now this is a genuine race for P1 well I was looking behind on the fastest driver of this split I didn't realize that P1 has spun and he gave us this place and we are at P2 and not well and we are being chased by the fastest driver of the split and now we will have to make a move on P1 so that we are able to maintain a little gap to drivers behind her and he made a mistake and we are up to P1. We have taken the race lead but I don't think so this is going to be a long lived race lead because two of the fastest driver, A class driver are right behind us and we will have to do something about it because they are almost a second a lap faster than us so i'll take the defensive line and i hope these guys guys battle it out and 
we just run away with this race and you can see they are battling it out and we will be able to open up a gap because they are having a dog fight right behind us somehow we are able to maintain the position on lap 14 we will see these guys still fighting behind us uh, zooming into our rear view mirror you can see oscar perez and other two faster driver are just right behind him and p4 goes for a move on him and the guy in pink mazda mx5 who was the pole setter also makes a move on oscar perez who loses one position uh, two position in just one turn as you can see he opened up the inside line for the blue mazda and he go for a move and the pink car decides to make the dive bomb and caught oscar perez napping so now we will have to do our best and on the same lap you can see the pink barbie makes a move on p2 the blue and red mazda he has gained two position in just one one and a half sector and he is right behind us and he is the fastest driver on the track and he is p2 he was the pole setter and he is almost a second faster than us this is going to be a very intense eight minutes if i have to win this race i will have to defend like the mexican ministry of defense Hector Perez, and hope these guys fight it out i'll i'll have to do my best but i don't think so i will be able to hold on to this lead You can see he's just trying to make a move on us. Fast forwarding the race to lap 17, you can see he is still right behind us and he is in a slipstream. We will have to go super defensive here because if we open, give him the inside line, he will just go for a time zone. But P3 is also attacking him, so he will have to take the defensive line. This is a lucky break for us. We will be able to hit the apex and these guys are fighting like mad now right behind us this is our only chance to get away from us but we are certainly quite slower than them even though they are fighting we have to defend this line again because he had the better run and we are safe for now fast forwarding the lap to lap 18 and we are still going defensive on the start finish straight and you can see these guys are just fighting behind us hope i hope one of them take the other out and we can win this race easily and p3 is going for a move on the pink card but he is not able to make a move and we are still in the lead i cannot believe my luck i there are only three minutes to go i think we can win this and p3 the red and blue was the makes the move on pink car let's look at the replay he showed his nose to him and i think he was caught by surprise and red and blue car had an amazing run on him and he is able to make the move stick on him on the inside or the move Fast forwarding the race to lap 20, we are lapping the lap car and this is lap 20 and I think there is going to be one more lap after this because it's only 30 seconds to 30 uh, seconds to 30 minutes and while looking in the mirror we missed a breaking point and we had to cut the track shot and somehow I avoid spinning out and giving up my race with this wall would have been so brutal on us just giving up the race position like this after such a long battle but we will have to give up 1.1 seconds somewhere and we have to be very clinical about this so that we don't give a lot of time away to the car behind us he's just 0.9 of a second behind us we need to give 0.8 of a second to those towards i think we will be able to give this on in the braking zone 0 0.4 0 0.3 0 0.2 and no we have got in a time penalty we, we will have to hold for 41 seconds and we have 
lost the race on second last lap by getting a time penalty and he is still going for a move i don't think so he realizes that we have a penalty he is still trying to overtake us on the outside so i decide to i will defend my line at least i'll win on the track i will be the first car to finish either, either or not i get the result but we have a 41 second time penalty i don't think so we will be on the podium Let's see where we will finish. This is our race, and I'm just telling the guys behind me that it was a brilliant race, and I have a time penalty, and well done, my and red and blue car has won the race. Oh, we will have to see the official result where we finish. What a stupid mistake by my end. And yeah, looking at the official result, we right, have finished P8 after such a brilliant race. So guys if you like this video please like share subscribe to the channel thank you